Hello again. Now tonight I'm going to do another little experiment with some of my homemade gramophone equipment. This is the uh, sound box and uh, wooden tone arm construction that I made to play gramophone records and this is the plastic horn. Now this works fine on a traditional shellac or bakelite gramophone records but uh, I wanted to give it a go playing vinyl records. So using some dressmaker pins instead of um, gramophone needles and also some counterweight there this is now set up using an old iron uh, turntable to play um, a 45 rpm single now the weight that this would normally give on to a or push down onto um, a gramophone record is about 50 grams but it's a, a lot less because of the counterbalance I just grab my scales you should be able to see that comes in at under 4 grams so I've done various measurements and it's somewhere between three and a half and four and a half grams depending on the angle of the tone arm. So that's um, still arguably a little high for the uh, uh, vinyl purist but it's less than the average Crosley so less than um, what this tone arm here would probably do if I was using it and considering that my old radiogram actually puts about 13 grams of pressure on two records and is designed for vinyl as well as 78s um, isn't going to be too bad at all. Well time for a quick test. As you can see that works just fine. The biggest problem really is that um, I've got nowhere to rest this down on so it catches on the, um, the mat um, when it's not engaged with the record. Anyway that worked okay. Let's try another little test with another, with another record. I'm actually using the mat from my homemade record player as the, uh, the mat that came with this one is actually in use on another record player in the house. So, not that loud, but loud enough to hear, and uh, he did have a little trouble um, jumping on one of the tracks, that could be damaged um, surface due to other playing, it could actually be something to do with the, uh, 
the needle or more correctly the pin I'm using um, and also obviously not something to try on valuable records as it's not really doing them that much good although to be honest probably not that much harm either anyway that's it for now thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mistrology Stuff